this video we will be discussing about design patterns okay so why design patterns are used in java what all things are present in design patterns and what all types of design patterns are present in java that all things we will be discussing in this video so first of all we need to understand ki what is a design pattern what is actually a design pattern so design pattern actually solves the commonly occurring problems so we have to understand in such a way that uh, where there is a requirement that is given to us okay we all developers are there so we will be given with a task okay to perform like we need to implement certain set of functionalities and same set of functionalities is implemented differently by different developers okay the requirement might be same so let's suppose i need to perform some db operation then i need to send mail or send notification or some big functionalities is written to be implemented so if that same task is given to five developers so five developers might develop in different different ways as per their experience and knowledge but which one is to be preferred how will you decide if which is the best way to move ahead with a development process so for that sake we need to follow a certain set of patterns so let's suppose we, we don't want to hit the database again and again to improve the performance of the uh, overall application then in that scenario singleton needs to be implemented okay if we need to create a layer of abstraction so that client doesn't have a direct look on what is the actual business logic then we have to move ahead with the factory design patterns okay so that thing we need to move we need to decide further before actual doing actually doing the development task okay we should not directly jump onto the development rather we should be knowing that what is the commonly occurring problems across all the requirements that has been assigned to us and then after having the clear requirement analysis then we should move ahead with the development process okay so let me share my screen and let me tell you like what all types of design patterns are there and what was the history of the design pattern pattern which will implement the real world analysis okay so what is the history of this design pattern that all thing we need we will just understand a bit so christopher alexander was the first person who invented this design pattern in 1977 it is not today's or a few years back thing it is like being launched long time back in 1970s you can think like such a long years ago it was implemented and we are learning this now so this is much very much important aspect in terms of development process we should need to follow certain set of pattern certain set of design pattern to implement and actually it increases the speed of the development okay we will do it much faster and it becomes more readable for others to understand like what it actually you have done okay so and previously uh, actually it will be like there were a lot of design patterns was there was there okay so there were like gang of four design patterns was called for this okay why these design patterns are coming under gang of four design patterns because uh, this comes under the elements of reusable object oriented software book okay which was written by a group of four persons so they, these were the four people enbridge gamma richard helm ralph johnson and john uh, list this in 1995 they have designed this all design patterns and categorized this into a common single term gang of four design pattern okay so which makes it more reusable again and again okay and it uh, it is made with object oriented concept so again it becomes more simplified because the uh, purpose of doing object oriented concept is it breaks down the complex problem into simpler ones okay so that's why all the above 23 design patterns are known as gang of four design patterns okay so in total there are around 23 design patterns available to us so how it is structurally differentiated and uh, how it is structurally different that we will be knowing now so you all know now a uh, design patterns are well proven solution to commonly occurring specific problem or task okay so design patterns are programming language independent strategies okay so it actually solves the common object oriented programming problems but it first focuses upon what are the strategies that we need to implement which doesn't involve actually the programming language rather we need to do high level thinking of what actually needs to be implemented what strategy we need to follow to implement the requirement that has been assigned to us by our client okay so we should not directly jump onto the development requirement by starting the development in java or python rather we will first analyze the requirement we will see like which design pattern is will best suit to implement this requirement and how can we solve it with much uh, better 
time complexity and much faster response time. So those all things should be kept in mind. Then we will move ahead with a development. Okay. So basically we should have a test driven development approach. So first we'll be write, writing test cases and trying try to analyze that requirement with the test driven development. And then after that, we will start doing the actual development, which actually smoothens the entire process of doing the development task. So next is when to use the design pattern. So it will uh, we will be using design pattern in a software development lifecycle process where we will be doing the actual analysis and then requirement gathering and then doing the development process. So before actually starting starting with the development, we will be analyzing the requirement first. Then we will be matching like which design pattern match this requirement. Like whether we have to do creational thing or we have to do something with respect to structure or we have to uh, modify something with respect to behaviors. So in that scenario, we have to choose the, uh, one of the design patterns depending upon three modified categories like structural, creational and behavioral design patterns. Okay, so are you modifying anything with respect to the behavior of the oops uh, across across your application of the requirement? Okay, are you modifying anything structurally? Are you creating anything? any object you are trying to create? So in those scenarios, we will be choosing one of the design patterns out of this three structurally designed differentiated patterns okay so these are the specific types of design patterns available in java first is creational then structural then behavioral coming into creational you might be knowing about this singleton where we create one single object at any given point of time okay then factory it creates a layer of abstraction basically where client doesn't directly know the business logic the, the client doesn't able to see what actually business logic is, is rather we will be calling the method and with the help of the instance what is the type of that we will be returning the instance based upon the type okay so abstract factory is a, again a layer of abstraction created over factory okay we will be explaining you in depth like i will be creating separate videos on each of these design patterns so that you will be getting an idea like how can we implement it because in interviews uh, people are asking interviewers are, are asking this which all design patterns have you worked upon have you worked upon any structural or behavioral design pattern because 95% of the candidates I have seen, they are telling only about creational design pattern. They are only telling single turn factory builder design patterns. But interviewers are asking now more in depth about structural and behavioral. They will give you some of the name, like they will ask like chain of responsibility. What is this design pattern? Facade design pattern, what is this? They can directly ask you. They, will, they may not tell you to write the code on that, but they can ask you like what is the concept all about and how will you move ahead and in which type of scenarios you will go ahead with this particular design pattern. So they can ask questions based upon that. So you should be well prepared for that. Okay. So builder design pattern, it actually solves the problem of factory design pattern. And uh, we will be telling you in depth like why this builder design pattern came, why this single turn, why factory came with the help of real world examples. I will be explaining you in separate, separate videos. So don't worry about that. Then structural adapter, composite, fa facade. Facade is very important. Then decorator design pattern is also important. Composite design pattern. These three are most commonly asked. Okay. Then behavioral design pattern is also very important. Observe a chain of responsibility. Then uh, uh, interpret, iterator design pattern. Okay. Memento design, memento design pattern. So these design patterns are very much asked basically. So at least three design patterns in each you should be knowing. Creational design pattern, you should, you should know all the things like single and factory, abstract factory build a prototype all you should be knowing beforehand before going for interview and in structural main main uh, three uh, main design patterns you should be knowing okay and same with behavioral so if you are going with proper preparation then you will be able to clear any interview based upon the design pattern okay so in design pattern they will not ask much logical question except for few of the creational design patterns they will just ask in which scenarios will you implement this design pattern and how will you move ahead with what is actually this design pattern they will ask ask only this question with respect to structural and, and behavioral but with respect to creational and especially with singleton design pattern they can ask a lot of questions that i will be explaining you in a separate video okay so this was it with design pattern this was an intro video so i will be creating a separate playlist which consists of all these design patterns okay i will cover all these design patterns 23 design patterns in separate separate videos so it will not be that much long it will I, I will try to keep it very short so that you can just go through the playlist and you will have a, you will gain the understanding like in which scenario which design patterns needs to be implemented so that you can tell in the interview as well okay so 
this was it so this video will be very short so that i will be starting with next set of videos so this was just an introduction like why what what is design pattern why it is used and what are its types and a little bit history of it so this was just an intro video from next video onwards i will be starting with singleton then factory then moving ahead with that so we'll see you in the upcoming videos which uh, and st we'll be starting from traditional design patterns so see you there till then it's depsitra signing off bye bye